All right, guys, so from the last video, from the muskrat trapping video, setting traps, I didn't get any muskrats. Um, but we're at our pond, and we're actually getting ready because we know there's a beaver in our pond. Um, and we actually got it stocked recently. It's going to be a fishing pond during the summer and stuff. And I'll show you it in a second, but um, there's a beaver in here, and we know that for a fact because we don't even have seen him. Um, well, we can see all like, his sign stuff, and my dad said he's heard him like slap his tail. Um, but I'll show you the pond here in a second. All right, so here's the pond. We're still trying to get like willows and stuff out so that we can really set it up. Um, because like it's really overgrown since we just moved back to Nevada. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you the where the beaver's been. All right, so this is where the beaver's been. You can see where he's been like chewing on stuff and everything. And then like over here too, he's got like his lung here and everything. But yeah. All right, guys. So we actually found his hut, and you can see like all of this. And like we're I'm standing on it right now. And it's kind of hard, but you can see a little bit of tracks and stuff. And he's been going up through here, and his den is under here and stuff. Oh, I think he's like under my feet, like right now. Yeah, I think we're gonna get him. I think it's been pretty pretty easy there also might even be multiple because there's a lot and a lot of beaver activity in here you know like all of that's much down and stuff look at this trail look at this he's actually been doing us a favor by cutting these down yeah. this trail, that's crazy look at, all look at that guys oh all of that all of that at least he did some damage to the willows I mean, that's just crazy. Uh -huh. Look at that, guys. Alright, guys. So, I wasn't able to film the um, setting of the trap. But, because my GoPro ran out of batteries. But, we just said I'll show you it. And then, we have the other one set still. Alright, guys. So, here's a trap. Um, you can kind of see right there is a trap put some like, sticks and stuff to funnel them in but I'll just come right through this trap and get snapped guys one of our traps is set over there the dam is right over there but we just saw the beaver when we were setting another trap. Now we're done setting traps, but we saw him swim, swim right across here. So hopefully when we check the traps, we'll have him in one of the traps. All right guys, so we're checking the traps right now. Hopefully we got him the next day. Got a dead beaver. Yes. That thing's massive. Look at that thing. Wait, where is the trap? What? Where is the trap? See that metal thing around him? Yeah. That's the con bear. What? It's kind of like a standard item. He went when he walked through it to come up here, then he just got snapped. Okay, we're, we're standing on his den. This is his den. This is where this he is lives. His home. He was trying to come up on here, and he got snapped. Should I take the whole trap out? Yeah, take the whole, cut the wire, and then bring the beaver and the trap and everything out. Um, that didn't take long. That didn't take too long at all, did it? One night. Dang, that conifer did him. Dang. Did him in, huh? Dang, that thing's flat. Man. That's a good catch right there. Look at his tail. Yeah. Look at his claws. I knew it, you guys. <laughs> good thing you came along, Jesse. 
All right, guys. So now he's in the truck bed, and we're gonna go back back home and skin him. All right, guys. So we're back at my house. Um, we'll have to get into the garage and go clean him. It's just soft, soft fur. Alright guys, so that's gonna be the end of the video, so don't forget to like and subscribe.